using the product rule to simplify square roots. The product rule for simplifying square roots states, states that if a and b are non-negative, the square root of the product a times b is equal to the product of the square roots of a and b. So here we have the square root of a times b, which is the same as the a times the square root of b. So if we are given a square root radical expression, we're going to use the product rule to simplify it. Step one, we're going to factor any perfect squares from the radicand. Step two, we're going to write the radical expression as a product of radical expressions. And step number three, we're going to simplify. So for example number two, we're using the product rule to simplify square roots. Simplify the radical expression. Here we have the square root of 300. So what we want to do is we want to look for the greatest perfect square that we can factor out of 300. So we're going to factor the perfect square from the radicand, which is 100. So this now becomes the square root of 100 times 3. And now we're going to use the rule that we just seen. We're going to write the radical expression as a product of radical expressions. So now we have the square root of 100 times the square root of 3. And so what number do we have to square to get 100? It is 10. So then the answer is 10 times the square root of 3. Part B. We have the square root of 162 a to the fifth b to the fourth. So again we want to factor out the greatest perfect square from 162. So we know that 2 goes into this number and it turns out it, tur it goes in 81 times. Well 81 is a perfect square. We know that a to the fifth is not a perfect square but we can factor it to where it's a to the fourth times a and a to the fourth is a perfect square b to the fourth is a perfect square. So now we can separate these two by writing the radical expression as a product of radical expressions. So we have the square root of 81 a to the fourth b to the fourth times the square root of 2a. So now we need to ask ourselves what number do we have to square to get 81? 9. What do we have to square to get a to the fourth? That's a squared. What do we have to square to get b to the fourth? And that is b squared. So we end up getting 9a squared b squared times the square root of 2a.